Hello students so today i am here again with another problem very good problem on projection of plane again this will be a special type of problem in which the shape of the second view will be given to us look at the problem the problem will be like this a plate having a shape of an isosceles triangle has base 50 mm side and altitude 70 mm it is so placed that in front view it is seen as an equilateral triangle of 50 mm side and one side inclined at 45 degree to the xy draw its projections what they are saying there will be an isosceles triangle of 50 base side and altitude 60 uh, 70 mm it, its placing will be in such a way so that in the front view it looks like a, an equilateral triangle of 50 mm side with one side inclined at 45 degree to the xy line so again if i look at this problem in this problem as we see that in the front view the figure will be converted into an isosceles triangle from isosceles triangle to equilateral triangle as earlier i told you that the second figure will be in our control so i can from the first figure i can manage the size of the second figure so if in the front view i need a, an equilateral triangle it means i should start from the front view and place my whole plane that is our isosceles triangle in the front view it means i am going to keep the plane parallel to the vp and parallel to the vp and again one of the interest of mine will be that the 50 mm that is the base side of the isosceles should remain same so if you look at this object this is the same an isosceles triangle this length will be 50 mm and this altitude will be 70 i am going to place it like this with keeping this 50 mm side perpendicular to the hp so the initial stage will be i am going to keep my plane parallel to vp with one that 50 mm side perpendicular to hp so that when next time i am going to make it incline like this this length will remain same and these two lines will be shortened by the same length that is this length 50 mm so in this way i can get easily get the inclination phi if i start drawing this figure then this will be like this this is suppose this will be this much above so i can easily draw this figure that is an isosceles triangle so this is our isosceles triangle you can easily draw this this length will be 50 mm and this altitude will be 70 I I I have kept it parallel to the VP its top view will be little bit below reference line I am going to draw this time not on the VP I am not ke keeping it on the VP instead I am making it parallel to the VP as I told you and the length will remain same so this will be like this so this is the top view this length will be equals to this one again i will name that that is a dash b dash and c dash and in the top view this will be a b and c now initial position will be i have kept the plane parallel to the vp now in the second stage i am going to make it inclined to vp by some angle but the angle will be not given to me what is given to me will be the figure will be converted into an isosceles sorry an equilateral triangle of 50 mm side so for the next front view we can move parallel to the reference line from these two points and the third point or take all the three points in the forward direction and again mark the first edge that will be a dash and c dash now with the same length i can mark the third figure
so this is my third figure on this line this line will go like this and we can easily get the third figure and this point will be b dash now with the help of this i can draw the top view so from this i can draw perpendicular downside move parallel this will be again our point a and c and the point b will be on the projector so draw a perpendicular from here as you know that the length of the top view is not going to change so from the first figure i pick the length of the top view and cut on this easily you can get the line view second line view and this is the inclination phi that is the surface of the plane is making with pp so now look at this figure initially we have an isosceles triangle that will be converted into an equilateral triangle by making its surface inclined to vp by some angle phi degree now in the third figure what they want they are saying that the equilateral triangles one of the side of the equilateral triangle will be inclined 45 degree to the reference line so i will make a line 45 degree inclined to xy and keep one of the side but keep that side which will be showing is still the true length not any other side so actually i am going to make this side inclined suppose this will be 45 degree inclined so this is 45 degree on this i will go i am going to shift the figure and i am going to shift the side a dash and c dash so keep this a dash c dash on this line and with reference to this a dash c dash mark the third point and you will easily get the third figure this will be c dash this will be a dash and this will be b dash join these three points now the with the help of this you can easily draw the top view and for top view draw the pro projectors and locus so draw a locus from here parallel to the reference line a and c will be on this line and this b will be on this line so this is point is all b this will be our point c and this will be point a join these three points by straight lines you can easily get the figure so this is again the way to solve the problem very interesting problem you can solve this okay thank you thank you very much